Hey everyone, let's do a uh, video about how to use the Zygu G90's CW decoder. Um, I don't find this to be all that reliable, but it can work. And making this video is a little tough because as soon as I find a signal that's doing the job, uh, it disappears. But it's, it's generally straightforward. So what we do is we change the mode to CW so that it won't, it won't work in upper sideband or lower sideband. Make sure you're in CW. Uh, the recommended setting is a bandwidth, audio bandwidth of around 500, 350, 500, something to that effect. You go over here to the key button and you hold it down for a second. And you'll notice that it goes from back to the waterfall. That's the default mode. If you press key again, she'll go into decode mode and all you have to do is just tune until the CW lights up this LED just about in time with the CW code and if you're lucky and the uh, audio is consistent and the signal is loud enough it will begin to try to decode the CW. So that's really it. Is it reliable? Um, eh, not really. I don't think so. I, I think it's a good thing to see if you uh, may want to talk to the station and just uh, be there for a second or two, but I wouldn't use it to try to really uh, understand what the, uh, the conversation is about. So again, to do a CW station, make sure you are in CW mode. Press the key button long enough to turn off the waterfall at the bottom and you'll see some letters start. Tune the signal until that little yellow LED starts to flash in time with it. For best results, tune your bandwidth to about 500 or so, 350, 500, whatever you like. To do that again, you press the function button and you hold that. And then down here is the filter low and filter high, so you can change the bandwidth. And that's pretty much it. So that's how the Zygu G90 decodes CW. Straightforward, and as usual, a couple of buttons to push. Anyhow, please subscribe, and we'll keep on playing with this thing. It's got a lot of stuff. See you later.